Hey gang, I'm Cable and welcome to another week of personal trainer business tips. This week I want to talk about email marketing. I can't believe how often I hear people saying email marketing is dead and that I can't get any new prospects by email. That path is closed or done. I think that is total BS and I wanted to share with you my foolproof strategy for how email marketing has worked for me for years and continues to work for many of my clients. It's a very simple process. Number one, whether your email uh, list is 10, 50, or 5,000, you need to be servicing them regularly. At least one email a week, two emails a week is better, three if you've got tons of great stuff to say. And if you're like me, I used to always get fearful about not knowing what to write about and was my content good enough? You know, there are services out there that will provide done for you content for you that make it easy to copy paste and you don't have to worry about it. But the truth is nothing will ever be as powerful as your own voice. Nothing will ever be more powerful to the people on your email list than words spoken from the heart. So just start writing. Don't worry if it's perfect because your real objective each week is to connect with these people and just say, hey, you know what? Thanks for subscribing and being on my list. I want you to know that I care about you. I'm going to do my best to continue to give you value. And most importantly, if I can ever help you reply and reach out, just like these videos, I want you to do the same, whether it's in a comment below or direct message to me, if you found them helpful or if I can help you with something, that's the whole point of this, just to help you. Okay, so your email list has to be the same way. If you're still struggling for content ideas, I came across something not that long ago that was really awesome for me, uh, and it is a website called answerthepublic.com. I'll put the link below. Really simple. You type in whatever it is that you're thinking about. Let's use weight loss, for example. And I think when I pulled it up today before shooting this video, there was 187 potential questions about weight loss that you could write an article on or shoot a video on or something of that nature. So it's getting easier and easier to, to come up with content. But why am I talking about content? Because that's where email marketing begins. Begins. At the bottom of every email that you send, there should be a quick and very subtle PS. Let's not get blatant pitches here of, I'm having a special, click here and buy it, but just use a simple PS call to action of, hey, here's what's going on in my life this week, or here's what was accomplished this week. An example might be, hey guys, I just want to tell you my client Sally, I was so excited, we did her assessment last week and she's down 20 pounds in the last 14 weeks. What would that feel like if it was you that lost 20 pounds? Question mark. Ever want to talk about your goals? Just reply and hit me back. Let's talk about it. See, very simple situation, relatable, something that actually happened, whatever. And we just asked them a very basic call to action of reply and talk to us. You'll be surprised at how many new leads that you're going to get or even referrals from your current customers that forward and send that kind of stuff on to other people. One of the most underutilized email marketing strategies. But let's talk about direct email promotion. My favorite is uh, to email two times a week content to my list and when I'm doing a direct promotion I'll swap out those two emails and I'll add two more. So if you're keeping score that might look something like uh, my regular email days are Tuesday and Thursday. I would send an email on those days. This would become a promo email rather than content. So no content for one week and I'm going to add a first email and I'm going to add a fourth email. Let me tell you how those work and where they are. So first off, I'll tell you that I've always been best served by sending my first promotion email on Sunday afternoon about 4 p.m. My theory is that Sunday before Monday, and this rolls over to Monday on long weekends, is that people are at home kind of mulling over the idea of, hey, tomorrow's Monday and I got to go back to work don't have a lot to do, can't really go do anything, so I'm gonna surf the internet, check my email, stuff like that. So I just find that my open rate on Sunday evening is better, which is a great time for the first email, which I call the hero story, okay? So if you watched any of my selling videos, you'll know that I believe in a philosophy called EAS, or Motion Affirmation Solution, and when it comes to this first email, using EAS and storytelling is at the top of the list for me. These emails always start with something that's happened, you know, whether it's a client success story, whether it was a discovery I made in my own, you know, if I return back to why I started working out when I was a 15 year old kid with crooked teeth and, and uh, you know, short and a funny name, it's like I needed to increase my self worth and self esteem and exercise and ultimately bodybuilding became the vehicle to do that for me. So I like to relate a bit of my history in a way that people can connect with. Oh, you know what? Like I'm not the only one that suffers those things, which is why Mrs. Jones, I want you to come in this week for our X dollar trial or whatever. So giving them some easy low barrier offer to try you out. You know, my my favorite was always a four week trial, somewhere between $49 and $99. A deep discount over our current services for a limited number of people, a limited amount of time, and at the end of my hero story, I would just throw that out there. Hey, if you're still with me and you're reading all this, I just want to let you know for the next 12 days or 25 people, we have this great trial promotion of four weeks of our services at a deep discount. Just reply or click here to get the offer. 
The important thing is the structure. That first email is storytelling for impulse buyers, for people that have quickly become emotional and don't need any more information to make a decision. They jump on the bandwagon now. The second email is more for guys like me, okay? And I say, uh, this is like the features and benefits, uh, FAQ, you know, something that is bullet points and more detailed for that person that needs more information to make a decision. You know, I wanna know, I wanna know, what do I get with this? What are all the things it includes? What can I expect from it? How will it be laid out? You know, when do I have to pay? How much do I have to pay? I'm the guy that would loves to read that FAQ and see what other people are asking and the answers that you've ultimately given them. So my second email from promotion is always an FAQ or features and benefits. Okay, the third email is what I call urgency for Eeyore. So typically my promotions would last Sunday till Friday. Uh, this email is gonna be sent on Thursday typically and it would read, it'd be very short, it's very punchy. I always joke, it's urgency for Eeyore because we have to tell them the sky is falling. Like move, you're gonna get hit by that. You gotta to to do something now. So this is the email that simply states, hey, there's three spots left, there's four spots left, there's almost none, it's gonna to close tomorrow, the offer is almost over. Why haven't you done this yet? Push here, do this, do that, like very, very direct punchy comments make it happen now the whole thing usually maybe about 10 sentences so very quick and easy to write these two are longer anywhere is from 200 to 700 words this guy's like 10 sentences this fourth email closing in X hours would be sent typically Friday afternoon or evening closing in two hours closing in four hours right and it's literally even shorter if this is 10 sentences this is five hey this is your last chance literally if you don't click here and do this now we're closing it down in four hours we won't take any more customers that's it so guys you can see we're really catering to different personality types with these different emails impulse buyer the analytical decision mind uh, the procrastinator somebody that refuses to make a decision and because they procrastinate so much we hit the procrastinator one more time our conversion metrics are about 30 percent about 30%, so this is of your total population or people that will buy your promo, about 30% of your purchases should come from email one, about 30% from email number two, and these guys are really hard to motivate. So five to 10% of your purchases will come from these last two emails. That's pretty much it, much it guys. Let's touch on one more thing before I let you go, uh, which is how frequently do I do this? I started this video talking about sending content multiple times per week, one to three times. Typically, I will replace that content in this fashion about every third or fifth week, okay? I like it to feel systematically random, which is why five weeks is my favorite. So it doesn't necessarily happen every month or the same week of every month. It feels systematically random. We're not always promoting. And we've certainly delivered enough value and enough content to be able to have earned the reciprocity to focus on a promotion for a week. Guys, this is my strategy, has been my strategy for email marketing for a long time. I hope this is helpful for you. Uh, by the way, as a final gift, I'm gonna dig through my archive and see if I can't find a really good example of one of the email campaigns that I've written, and I'll throw a link below this video somewhere where you can uh, actually get a hold of that campaign for free and uh, test it out yourself or use it as something to model. So guys, I hope this was helpful. Uh, good luck and help more people this week. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Cable McIlderry. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and take time for the things that you love. Okay, I'm out of here to take some more pictures.